Hello everyone and welcome back to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. So really kind of continuing, um, as you've probably figured by now, that each week I've actually been trying to give you some ideas towards a holiday meal. Um, certainly you had sweet potato um, pudding or some people call it casserole. Um, you've seen devil eggs, you've seen collard greens. And so today I thought it would be great to make potato salad. So this, you know, as I often say, I learn different recipes from different people and then make it my own. This is my dad's recipe. Um, and he makes the best potato salad. Um, this one is going to be a mustard-based paste potato salad. Some call it a New York style potato salad. Uh, whatever you, <laughs> your fancy, um, you can use yellow mustard, you can use spicy mustard. I, partic I really kind of like the, the, um, the yellow mustard. And as always, you can, you know, tweak it the way you feel um, best. So what I will do is I will um, list the ingredients and approximation of uh, the amounts that you should be using, and I'll post that so you can really just kind of follow along more about how to prepare it and what to mix and don't worry so much about the ingredients or the amounts because I will add it. Again, it's a southern treat. Um, what I've actually done is I have um, boiled my potatoes, so you absolutely need to do that. And in this case, I use red potatoes. Some people like to keep the peeling on it, the skin. There are a lot of nutrients in the skin, so you absolutely can do that. Um, I just took mine off and um, I actually left one that I'm going to really kind of show you how to take the peeling off. Uh, some of you may be wondering, seriously, you're going to tell us how to do the peeling? Well, yes, because some people don't cook and that's the inspiration um, for this cooking show in the first place. So I really have, um, uh, and you're going to uh, make as many potatoes again as is needed for your family. Um, I have uh, approximately five kind of medium sized potatoes and about two, four, six, about eight small potatoes. Um, so really kind of up to you in terms of how much. So what I always do is I'll boil the potatoes and then I'll make sure they cool, set them aside, make sure they're cool, and then I peel them. Because when you do that, and I just usually kind of slice it this way, um, they pretty much just kind of come right off as so. And um, I'm gonna do it this way, again, just so that you can see the ease of them coming off when you let them, you know, just sit. Um, you can just peel it off. And it's not gonna go to waste because, as you know, um, my husband and I um, use compost for our garden, and um, so this will not be thrown anywhere. <laughs> it won't go in a garbage disposal, nor um, will it go in the landfill. So just peeling these little pieces off because I want to preserve as much of the potato as possible, okay? So you can see I'm just um, peeling it away like so. And as I mentioned, if you want to keep the skin on, you can keep the skin on. So I dice these. I don't dice them too small because once we mix in the other ingredients, it's going to somewhat break apart anyway. So I'm really just going to cut this in half and just maybe here like in threes, okay? As I said, it's going to um, break up some more as we start mixing the ingredients together. This one was a little bigger. So just as so, pretty simple as you can see. And my smaller ones, I'm going to just do them in fours because it's not much to them. So it, again, totally up to you. Uh, I, this is something you can make for Thanksgiving uh, or if you want, you're having um, friends over. It's also a great summer um, dish as well. Uh, but yeah, usually for Thanksgiving, um, we go all out. Um, turkey and um, cornbread stuffing and uh, yams and potato salad and string beans and cornbread and all kinds of things. So um, just a nice little treat. So as you can see, just a nice mixture here um, of potatoes in my dish. 
Um, I'm going to just rinse my hand here so I can deal with the other things. Okay, this is another advantage to um, cooking over at the sink. Again, changing my view a little bit. Um, as a matter of fact, just recently, my husband and I came to visit to one of my cousins, um, Gina Jones. And uh, she has the perfect kitchen for me recording my show. Um, do check her out. She, um, I believe, will be famous in Hollywood one day soon. Um, she has a leading role in the uh, series called The Heart. Um, it's not in all markets. Um, I know they are able to see it in Richmond, Virginia, and other places. Um, so Google it. Find out if it's in your area. Look up Gina Jones. Um, amazing woman and I love her kitchen so honey I need a new kitchen <laughs> all right so what I'm um, about to add now now that we've cut up the potatoes is I've um, chopped up celery pretty finely as you can kind of see here and I really only use two large celery stalks um, I'm going to just kind of mix these in here and again what I always say is you know switch the recipe if you're not a big celery fan fine don't have to use as much celery but you need some celery okay um, and then a lot of people don't realize it you know you add a little onion so this is half of an onion that I've again sliced up pretty finely so you've got all of those ingredients going in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to add um, sweet relish. So I'm going to actually get a different spoon for that. Um, and we're just going to add the sweet relish in here. And this is basically kind of what I use to sweeten it. Um, you know, I'm going to use a pretty generous amount. Um, but that's really kind of my sweetener. Okay. And then as I mentioned, we're going to use um, some mustard, and I usually use French's. Um, and just pretty generous at first. You're just going to go side by side. You're going to need to add based upon um, what you, um, how the mixture is. Again, I don't give you exact these <laughs> because in many cases, you have to kind of mix it around to see how it looks. So I'm going to use about three generous um, helpings of that. And then also we're going to add um, some pepper, I dye salt, and a little secret celery seeds. Not celery salt, but celery seeds. So I'm going to also take this and pretty generously mix it around. Now one of the things that I do recommend when you're making potato salad, because it is a carb, you know, we always, I always tell you, balance the carb with protein. So because you're having potato salad and you've got a Miracle Whip, although I am using the light version, so it's better for you, um, you want to have a lean protein. So, you know, that's why it gets, goes so well with turkey. Excuse me. <laughs> time that I've been showing off um, cooking and then I sneeze. Uh, my sister reminded me when I did that the last time, don't touch your, don't touch the food. So I'm going to go on and sprinkle some of the celery salt on it now. And of course the sneezing is because I had all that pepper. So, you know, all right. So we're just going to kind of start mixing it around and I'm going to sh absolutely show you a picture of this. It's just to give you an idea of what you need to do um, to get it going. And um, then I usually, you know, really kind of look at it to see whether or not I need to add something else. You know, my dad was reminding me, Shelly, remember the mustard is mainly for the color and it adds a nice little tanginess to it, which I like. You're just going to continue to just stir it around like so and make sure, you know, your, your celery and your relish are all mixed really well. And then you're going to have to do the taste test to really kind of determine whether or not you have enough or if you need some more salt or if you need some more pepper or whatever it may be. So again, I'm mixing it around pretty nicely. You know, as I mentioned, I didn't cut up the potatoes too small because you're not making mashed potatoes, right? 
So you want to make sure that um, you're mixing it around um, and so your potatoes will have an opportunity um, to um, break apart a little bit and it still holds its consistency. And that's another point in terms of how long you cook it. You know, you want to be able to put your fork in it when you're boiling it to determine whether or not it's done. Um, but again, it's not supposed to be mushy at all, just a little bit of firmness um, to it. So this is actually looks pretty good. Um, again, we've got to do the taste test. So I have a separate spoon here that I'll use and I will test it out and see how it looks how it tastes rather, it looks good. We've got to make sure it tastes good. And uh, this happens to be one of my husband's favorite dishes. Um, our um, Aunt Viola um, makes this as a fantastic dish. You know, it's kind of interesting how people in your family have different things that are, you know, it's like their specialty. So I'm gonna go on and take this out here. I haven't used this spoon. I'm going to use this spoon for testing. And um, then we'll see we need something else. As I said, you're basically going to just do this. You'll add based upon your own taste, your own taste. So here comes the test of how it tastes. Oh my God. It's fantastic. It doesn't need anything. So another great dish, um, the final look at this potato salad. It tastes delicious. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. So I'm sure your guests are going to enjoy it, be it Thanksgiving or any other um, holiday or um, barbecue or just people coming over. You're gonna be the talk of the town. So that's all for now. Stay tuned um, again to the next episode of Chef Shelly's Kitchen. Take care. Bye, everybody. Don't forget, share, 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 share the video. Take care. Bye-bye.